welcome back to our ongoing office 365 series in this video we are finally going with uh, OneDrive I installed the <coughs> office on this machine just to show so uh, OneDrive for business because each Windows 10 they do have uh, if you open the let's file explorer so you do have OneDrive <clears throat> and then there is another one that is OneDrive for business it shows up but for some reason I don't know why it hasn't showed up here yet this PC so basically it's this OneDrive is for everybody but that OneDrive is for ah I know why why okay basically you have to log in through the office 365 credentials and then it will show up that's what I'm thinking like uh, when you connect your computer to work and the whole interface change so we can add a account work account I believe and it will show up but right now we are not in the user interface we are not from the user perspective for office 3 uh, OneDrive we are through the admin perspective so this is the home when you go let me open it for you so once you log into your admin portal like if you close out everything this is Ali's account I need that so I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just open a new window <clears throat> you click on admin or or office portal and <clears throat> you have the admin section here click on that click on show all and then go to all admin centers and OneDrive right there so these are so you have you are welcome with this one you can send a feedback and it's the admin center to for the OneDrive the first tab is sharing and then there are multiple tabs we are going to review each of them in a separate video so tonight we are just going with the sharing so these are the sh sharing tab like users have saved files on their one drives and each user get at least one terabyte and they can bump it to like if they're running out of it then you can bump it to 5g at, uh, and then eventually 25 <coughs> that's plenty of storage I read about 25 I'm really not sure an official document when I clicked on uh, there was like storage so I was like uh, when I clicked on it it was saying something like five but that's for the another day let's concentrate right now on sharing so these are the links this sharing that it's saying that it works for both SharePoint and OneDrive so in SharePoint you can also share files folders but that's for users like OneDrive is more like a personal uh, storage space online back in the day like uh, real back and I'm talking about like 20 years ago when Hotmail was only two megabits uh, megabytes of worth of storage for your emails back then there was a and like the earlier form of uh, cloud storage was Google uh, Yahoo briefcase that you had 30 megabits uh, megabytes so we have come uh, from a long way let's see what the links are so these links these uh, default link type choose uh, if you remember when we we're looking into sh SharePoint settings we had the same slider so everything is about the same let's see shareable anyone with the link exactly the same if you remember this is once you create the link it can be fire in the jungle uh, anybody can download that file using that link the other one is internal that link will only work if it's shared internally even it gets out somebody emails themselves to and try to access that from their um, home 
no that's not gonna work because that email will have an authentication link in built uh, like in that actually required a server authentication to be uh, go through to the to the file direct specific people this is that uh, again internal only that will be if it authenticates that that's the person that it they that link was uh, meant for there are advanced settings link must expire within number of days one is never the other one is you can set like one day five seven two weeks a month so after that that link will not uh, work the second one is files what people can do with using that link they can view it or they can have full access they can view edit and then then they can also upload as well third one is folders what uh, what have the they have basically this one they can view files they can edit files but they are there and then they can upload files folders they can view or do the same thing which is view edit and upload external sharing so with external sharing the this one is these options are only link specific they are not for uh like drive or you know users all, all that they applies to only the links that you have created or user will create more likely this one again if you remember that we had two sliders and one drive was following uh, SharePoint best for proceeding uh, OneDrive so OneDrive had to follow whatever is being set on SharePoint and it was at the same level or lower so I can go lower all the way but see this if it goes down OneDrive goes down as well so OneDrive has to be in the same level as SharePoint or lower so if I go up there and it goes down so I try to save it let's see what happens actually they are saying here if you can read this your sharing settings for fund drive cannot be more permissive than your settings for SharePoint so I think it's gonna become a wheel of death it will go keep going on and on and on so let's see if i can open a new window and you can see even though when i s over here it's set to up there it's going on and on when i open a new one they are on the same one <coughs> exactly the what are the levels anyone new and existing existing or external user only people in your organization so this is the least uh, allowing people and this one is like put it on the internet so this one allows like new user as well but this one is what I, external user who are already a part but no new user and the last oh uh, sorry before last advanced settings for external sharing so this one for external sharing Remember, be very specific uh, like sure I want you to be understanding of this these settings apply to the links that are created this one is for the sharing how you want the sharing to be done the first one is allow or block sharing with people on specific domain again we have to add a domain so allow only on these domain macy's.com so if I add this domain, can I add enter? No. So it has to be www. If I save it, it's saved. So basically, uh, if this they send an email address to an email address that is Macy's.com, they can open the link and then they can only uh, internal user and then Macy's.com. You can then you can block these domains so this is the list of domains that you block so for example if you put gmail.com anybody who has the gmail address and they receive the link they will not be able to 
get this so notice this on the same thing you have the block and allow list so you can see them both and I was correct to assume that it's gonna be become a wheel of death and I hope it does not happen here it very well might be because I did not put www in front of this so let's go and open yet another <coughs> see advanced options and and you see it's not there so if I click on www.gmail.com and save it let's see what happens so you have to be very specific you cannot put gmail.com you have to put the uh, W's in front as well so you see if I click allow these domains are allowed and these are blocked I'm gonna remove it oh, I can put leave it there the second option is external user must accept sharing invitation using the same account that the invitation was sent to. Now, for example, uh, if I check this one, what's going to happen is I send a user that is, and um, uh, if you have checked that, you want to make sure that that domain is allowed as well, like yahoo.com. I was going to use yahoo.com. So, for example, I have to actually, I at yahoo.com as a uh, trusted domain I save it so what what's gonna happen I send the user that is Ali at yahoo.com I send him the invitation link or a user send them they are at work they forward it to one of their other personal account if they send a gmail obviously it's gonna be blocked but for example they were they were at ali at yahoo.com they send it to ali khan at yahoo.com even though yahoo.com is allowed he is not going to be able to sign up through his personal account or the other account because of this setting because they have to accept or click on that invitation link from the email address account that they it was sent to so this is the and this last one in let ex, let external user share items they don't own this one I think I said that I don't like it uh, basically like anybody can come look at your file and then they start sharing uh, it becomes a problem if uh, from the perspective you are on bandwidth but since it's one one drive you are not worried about bandwidth but still it's your file and somebody else is sharing it maybe so if it's like a file that uh, is document that you don't want to be out in the open and you only want it to be viewable by the person that you are you are sending and you do not want them you like yes fine look at my document but you don't want them to start sharing it so or uh, for this is since the admin setting so you have to decide do you want the users to start sharing or not so this would be like again you will be told by uh, your organization other settings is display to owner the name of people who viewed their file I will keep this on because yes I like uh, data I like uh, information the more analytics so it's actually good way of telling how popular the file is or somebody has viewed it or not it could be like somebody saying hey I, I didn't get a chance to look at your files and you know edit or uh, approve or disapprove so it's a check and balance thing as well so if you save it everything gets saved this is about uh, this is about all for the sharing in OneDrive if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next video